everyone, welcome to another course of Organic Artisan Lab Corporation and today we will learn how to make a mattified lipstick. Alright, let me walk you through on how to do this but um, the, the lecture of this series will be given to you through email so what we will be doing is just a practical uh, the actual uh, demonstration of how you will make this lovely lipstick. Let me try this. It glides really nice and easy. There you go. So let's start. First is, of course, what we have. I've got all the ingredients here. We first, of course, need some uh, materials like gloves, you know, to protect our hands and mask to protect yourself from inhaling the dust coming from our mineral pigments. So these, we are, our formulary is composed of uh, phase A ingredients, which are our blended mineral pigments that we will use for our for coloring our lipsticks. So we have our phase A's, phase B. Our phase B's are composed of oils, carrier oils, and waxes in the formula. Okay, so we've got here carnauba and, and candelilla and carnauba. Okay, so and on our phase C's are the heat sensitive ingredients so we will be adding the heat sensitive ingredients later on once we have worked on our phase a and phase b's so um i've got all of my materials here i will be using a um a heating element to warm our oils and waxes before we blend our phase a's so the first thing that you have to do is to Blend your pigments. So I have one, two, so I've got here, this is watermelon FDNC cosmetic grade colorant, okay? And this is titanium dioxide, which will be my opacifier for watermelon, okay? And I've got, um, oh, this is kale and clay, by the way, and this is um, titanium dioxide. Okay, so we've got watermelon red, titanium dioxide, and kaolin clay at the bottom. Okay, and then there's another one that I will be adding, iron oxide brown. Because, uh, let's see what happens when I blend them together. And our lipstick will have a total of 20% colorant or inorganic mineral pigments. So what we will do is we will blend our inorganic mineral pigments using a baggie. So what is a baggie? It's basically just a, a sandwich bag like this, um, a Ziploc, okay? So we will be using a Ziploc because we're, we're creating, creating a really small batch today. So what you have to do, make sure you're wearing your masks Okay, what you have to do is to combine, so we're now starting with phase A's, combine your phase A ingredients into this baggie. So what we're doing is we're trying to blend all our pigments together, together with our kaolin clay. Why do we need the kaolin clay? Because we're trying to create a mattified lipstick. All right, that's why we're using kaolin clay to give us that mattifying effect. And then a little bit of, of course, you will have a copy of the formulary for the blends and the complete formulary for all these ingredients. Okay, let me now, okay, so um, make sure you don't have air. no air in the baggie okay all right and then we will do the blending so this is basically a manual blending if you need to use 
a grinder, of course, go ahead. If you if you have a coffee grinder, it will be better because you'll be able to blend your pigments really well. So I'll cut this short and um, continue our video in a bit later once we're done with blending all our face A's. So while uh, while doing the blending, okay, I'm not yet finished. We really need to blend this properly. A microprocessor or a, or a coffee grinder will be the best for you to grind your inorganic mineral pigments. So I just want to discuss to you, uh, we have all the ingredients in the formula from phase A to phase C's. And then we will also need a, a um, lipstick mold, okay, composed of three, uh, it, it's got three parts. You have the upper part and then you have this. You will need to disassemble and grease your container okay so this has been pre-greased okay uh, enough to grease all those cavities so that we'll be able to have a good glide and we'll be able to disassemble and demold all, all our lipsticks later okay so um, I call this sixes because it's got six cavities and then there's also there's a lot of available online through Shopee or Lazada you may also purchase this from our suppliers we also have the 12 is it's the same it's just that it's got 12 cavities okay so instead of using uh, a stove which you you may use a stove guys instead of using a stove we will be using this heating element for now okay because I have a pretty tiny space and this will be the perfect one and I'll be using this to blend all our lipsticks okay so right now I'm basically just trying to disperse to blend our pigments again we've got our watermelon FDNC it's a lake dye pigment FDNC cosmetic grade that is allowed for use on lips and then titanium dioxide and kaolin clay plus a little bit uh, a little bit of um, iron oxide brown and let's find out what color we will be able to come up with after this blending okay let's now check let's dip a little bit on this pigment and see if um, it's well blended so we're doing a streak test let's do a little bit of streak test if you see those I still have I still have those little bits of white ish which probably comes from um, titanium dioxide so that means I'm not yet done with blending so I'll go ahead and continue all right let's try and find out if I'm done with mixing this pigment I'll go ahead and dip once again and try okay I think this is good and this is exactly the color that I want oh that's so nice see so once you there's no more other colors or streaks of other colors coming out you may proceed with the next step okay so we're done with blending our pigments next step is for us to we'll set aside phase A for now set it aside and then um, let's check this warming element this has been on for a while but I put it on a very very low okay and then we'll just make sure that this is sanitized So 
the next step is to work on our face bees. Our face bees con uh, consist of all the oils in the formula. So what you just have to do is to blend your oils. Okay. Okay, so I'm practically just blending, blending them together. Okay, so scrape your oils because the oils Okay, while doing that, I think it, it'll be best to just put this here. Okay, scrape all the oils because this will give the properties of your lipstick, the glide. Okay, and of course, those emollient properties um, are best. It depends on the, the type of oil that you will be using for your lipstick. So, I've got... Um, aloe vera oils in there caprylic capric triglyceride which is you may use fractionated coconut oil you may basically use one two or three types of oils um, in your lipstick formula so it's it all depends on your um you know um on what type of oils you would like to use. You may use soybean oil in combination of soybean oil and sunflower oil. That's okay. But never forget about adding um, castor oil. So this is important because this will give your colors suspension. It'll suspend your pigments while in the mixture. So those um, pre-blended pigments that um, other companies are using for their lipsticks are blended on, are blended using uh, castor oils. So uh, they will have to know the ratio of the castor oil and the pigments in the formula. And then they will give you the your supplier will give you the exact amount or percentage that um, is required, you know, for the usage of their uh, pre-blended pigments for your for your lipsticks. So I'm trying to scrape all the oils. So those uh, that's our castor oil in, okay. And I've got our candelilla wax in. Sorry about that. So that's candelilla wax. Okay, and carnauba wax all in. Okay, I've got um, soy wax. Deuterial alcohol, cetyl alcohol, uh, macadamia wax, cocoa butter. Oh, I, I guess. Um, and all right, I think this is macadamia macadamia wax. Um, okay, so let me just. Oh no no. This is another ingredient um, that we, this is, okay, um, I'll just find out later because I forgot. <laughs> so anyway, you have this on your formulary, so I'll just go ahead and add this in. It could probably the um, macadamia or any among the waxes all right so we'll go ahead and have this melted okay now the temperature that you require here is basically um, you just have to find out what is the melting point of all your waxes the uh, uh, the hardest wax here basically is carnauba wax and it's got according to my lecture um, 
on waxes, natural waxes. Carnauba wax has a um, melting point of 86 degrees Celsius. So uh, what you have to do is to have at least you know, 10 degrees Celsius up the melting point of your Carnauba wax and you're good to start with blending your pigments onto your uh, face bees. Okay, so we'll wait for it to melt for now. Okay. So uh, I'm going to have to cut this video uh, to part one and part two because this is going to be really, um, this is going to be really uh, long. So this will be part one of our video and I'll see you in a bit while on part two.